We've been creating some notes and now I actually want to do some categories to have some places to categorize information in a way that may make a little bit more sense to me. So I've got a number of categories here. I've got a default category, some HTML export ready and so on. I've got scan results and Nessus output. And now I could actually add a category here. And let's just say I'm going to call it my notes. So now what I've got is a note here and I could actually assign these different notes to different categories even after they've been created. So I've got Nessus follow-ups as a note here. If I right click on it, I get the assign to and I could actually put that under my notes. Now you can see the category shows up there and here I've actually got a couple of different notes and let's do this. Let's assign this one to Nessus output and now you can see I've got two categories here. So I've got the category Nessus output and I've got one note under there and I've got my default category here and actually let me create another category and I'm going to call that category to do. So since this is a to do note I'm going to assign it as a to do category. So you can see we've got now in addition to just having notes and having a whole list of all of the notes here, I can actually break them into categories and I could add another note here and say another note. And at some point I'm actually going to put this into one of the categories here and I'm actually going to put it into to do just to show what we can do here. I'm going to put it into do and now at some point if you had a lot of different notes and you wanted to just look at the notes in a particular category you can see I can actually just collapse the to do category branch here and if I were to collapse this one you'd have the note just disappear. So in terms of visual organization, I can collapse different things to make them appear smaller on the screen here so that I'm only looking at maybe the one category that I want to look at and I'm not getting distracted by all of the other notes. So if I had a lot of different categories and a lot of different notes, I may want to collapse a lot of the information so that I am only looking at what I really want to look at. So you can see I've got a lot of capability here in Dratus to do some organization put a lot of data in, keep track of what I'm doing, have it in different categories, and it makes a really nice organizational tool for the type of work that we're doing here because there is really a lot of management that's involved in doing these ethical hacking engagements or penetration tests because there's a lot to keep track of from the different applications and the different services that we're looking at, the different ports that may be open, you may have a wide variety of hosts that are available. I may want to keep track of all of the hosts that I found in addition to just the subset of hosts that I'm scanning. So I may want to have a category for hosts that were scanned or hosts that were found and put different notes inside of there and then have a different category for the hosts that were tested and put the notes about what I'm actually doing inside of that particular category. So I've got a lot of options here in terms of how I want to organize it. And you can see I've got the flexibility to really organize it in the way that makes the most sense to me.